Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Boat Blog. So this is a channel dedicated towards boating and all sorts of cool stuff related to boats, going on boating trips, um, tips and tricks along the way, all sorts of different stuff that I find interesting and valuable knowledge to have while boating. So we're gonna get today started um, right away with a banger. is the MTI 52 Super Veloce Lamborghini boat. Yes, a Lamborghini boat. Um, it looks pretty much exactly like a Lamborghini SV. Um, and it is just magnificent. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is a full carbon fiber boat. It has twin two 1550 horsepower motors. Um, so for those of you who are bad at math, that is 3,100 horsepower in total, um, in an all carbon fiber 52 foot boat. Um, now it is 52 feet in length, but because it's all carbon fiber and because this boat doesn't really have a cabin or, um, you know, anything that weighs a lot in it other than those motors, it's very light, very similar to a Lamborghini SV. Um, so if you've ever had the experience to be in a Lamborghini or you've ever had the experience to be in an exotic car or drive one, you know that they feel very light and agile, very twitchy, um, almost like a thoroughbred horse, just ready to go at any moment. Um, so that's the same way that a boat like this feels to drive. Um, this is not a, this is a pleasure boat. But this is not a pleasure boat in the sense of a family boat or a bow rider. Um, and it's not going to handle that way, right? So when you think about a normal boat like a Sea Ray, a, a Cobalt, you know, Wake Setter, whatever it may be, right? Um, those boats are kind of like your Camrys and uh, Malibus, Chevy Malibus of the road, um, pun intended there. So... That's gonna drive kind of like those would on the road, right? Like pretty standard. Um, these <laughs> completely different. Um, they're just unbelievable to drive, um, unbelievable to ride in. Very, um, very scary. If if um, you've never had that experience before, if you've never been on the water going fast. Um, Speed on the water is a weird thing. You you feel like you're going twice as fast as you really are. And the thing about a road is it's nice and flat and you know that the corner is going to kind of curve like this because you can see it going there. Well, with the ocean or even a lake, it's choppy. The, the Your road is constantly changing, if you will. And that's one of the things that makes it kind of fun. Um, but that's one of the the real um, advantage it is of having one of these boats is if you're trying to drive for a long distance, um, you're gonna be able to do that and handle pretty much whatever comes your way with something like this um, and enjoy the drive, right? It's not about taking those waves and going through them as smooth and as effortly as possible so your, your china hutch doesn't get knocked over, right? Um, it's about how can we approach this as much fun as possible. So when you see that perfectly shaped wake right in front of you and you're like, I kind of want to jump that. Guess what? <laughs> you can. And with an MTI, you can be pretty confident you're going to come out on the other end of that. Um, pretty okay. You know, um, these boats are really stable. They're not, um, when you get into performance boats, especially those that are real custom, it can be hard to drive. They can be very technical. Um, you see these race teams 
like two drivers, a throttle person and a driver, and you're like, geez, that's that's a lot of work, right? Um, we're starting to, you know, did a power boat so that way I didn't have to work. Uh, you know, if I wanted to work, I'd get a sailboat, right? Um, yeah, it's it's not really quite like that with these um, because these are, again, a pleasure version. These are not the race versions. So although this boat is capable of very fast, 180 plus maybe, I, I really don't know the top speed, um, but it is a very, very, very fast boat. Um, it's very fast even on land, right? Like 180, um, there's not too many roads you can get to 180 on your uh, normal drive where this boat, you can get out in the ocean, you know, pop out into some open water, put the throttles down and get that sensation. Um, in a Lamborghini, yes, you can go fast. You can drive around very fast, um, but you can't do it whenever you want um, at the spur of the moment. Uh, what powers this boat, right? 1550 horsepower mercury racing motors now these motors are 1350 1550s 1350 slash 1550 um, so what that means you have two different horsepower settings um, 1350 is going to be on regular gas the 1550 is going to be on race fuel so in cars, you know how you have a sport mode? You can firm things up, increase throttle response, um, things of that nature in a car, depending on what car you have, right? Sometimes it just holds the gear and the transmission a little bit longer. Um, but depending on what you have, it can completely change the car. Um, in a Lamborghini, when you put it in sport mode, you can hear the exhaust note change. You can physically feel the way it drives change. So how do you recreate that in a boat without a transmission and gears and stuff like that? Um, power modes. So as you can see, I just scrolled through the Mercury Racing um, 1550 information. And you can see that it's on 112 race fuel, you're gonna get 1,550 horsepower. On 91 octane, you're gonna get 1,350. You can also get these custom color matched. Another thing that I found pretty cool is that you can, when switching between those two modes, unlock more RPMs. Um, so I'm a fan of real high revving motors, um, just always have been, I just think that's really cool. Um, so, in the 1550 horsepower, your full throttle RPM range is going to vary between 62 and 6800. In the 1350 horsepower range, it's going to be between 6000 and 6500. Now, I don't know the exact reason for the difference there, but I'm going to guess it's going to be something to do with um, computer generated horsepower numbers. Um, so one thing I do know about Mercury Racing is their computer systems are pretty sophisticated. Um, so depending on your air density, temperature, um, all those different things will affect how much horsepower motor makes. So in order to keep things safe and reliable, um, I would imagine they probably have some sort of control in there. Um, if you know more about it, let me know. I would love to learn more. I'll be doing another video on the full Mercury Racing lineup, outboards, stern drives, their drives, um, just a lot of informational stuff around that in a later video. Check that out. So those 1350-1550 motors. Um, one of the things that they have, sort of like a Bugatti Veyron, is a second key fob that allows you to go over to the 1550 horsepower mode. Um, so it has the two different fuels. Um, now this boat has about 120 gallons 
of the regular fuel and about 60 gallons of the race fuel. So they can do, they can carry both at the same time, flip back and forth whenever you want. So the interior of this boat is meant to be as close as possible to the actual car. Um, obviously with still having the functionalities of a boat. So, um, it has a real Lamborghini steering wheel. It has a real Lamborghini uh, power mirrors on it. And it has seats that look exactly like the car does. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this interior that you don't normally see on a lot of these open cockpit catamarans is air conditioning. Um, so that whole cockpit is actually air conditioning controlled. Um, really cool. Really cool stuff. Um, has power seats. Um, the sea deck flooring that ties in the floor with the seats and the dash is just incredible. Um, the actual center console in it is out of a Lamborghini uh, Aventador. So you have the same buttons and everything. Um, that boat has a couple, uh, no, uh, no analog gauges will be found on that boat. It's all digital, all um, not custom, but most definitely custom. Um, so it has a couple of the Vessel View smart craft for the motor, has big Garmin display for your GPS, um, and then air conditioning control and everything else up there, as well as real, um, Lamborghini air conditioning vents. Um, so the whole thing was just designed to be as close to a Lamborghini as you can possibly get. And I think they did a fantastic job. Um, right down to like the vents on the side of the boat and the front of the boat, um, all the way up to the headlights, the real Lamborghini headlights in the front of the boat, right? Like, that's crazy. It also has... I don't know if it's the same wing that they use on the car, um, but they've designed a wing like the SV has to go on the back of the boat, which I just think is incredible. Um, adds that extra touch to it. Um, I don't know if it messes with performance at all. At 180 miles an hour, aerodynamics are pretty important. So I'm not sure how that works. It'd be interesting. If you know, let me know. Because um, that'd be interesting. It also has real Lamborghini um, tail lights on the boat. Just over the top. Um, it, it's a work of art. So a lot of these boats, when you're talking about MTIs, skaters, uh, Mystic, the big boys of the catamaran world, um, they're all custom. It's all a lot of custom stuff. Um, and every now and then the boundaries need to be pushed, right? You, you, you don't want the same boat as the guy next to you. Um, but at the end of the day, well, these companies, they do build a decent number of boats and they're all kind of vaguely similar with different color schemes, right? So um, how do you take that a step further, right? How do you just really take it and go over the top? Well, find a dream car, find something that is perfect on a 10 year old's, you know, wall, make it a boat. And that's what they've done. Okay, so that concludes today's episode. Um, went over the 52 MTI Super Veloz. Um, I'm sure I didn't get all the details of the boat, um, but I'm gonna try to find this boat in person and do a sequel to this and really go into a lot more depth about it. Um, but I hope this was entertaining to you. I hope it inspired you. Um, because this is one of those things that just, you sit back and you go, wow, that's inspiring. Um, so like, subscribe the channel so I can do more of this. 
and I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye.